Hello and welcome. Today I'm excited to introduce you to Open Intranet, our powerful and flexible intranet solution. Before we begin, let me tell you that Open Intranet is built on Drupal, the most secure and flexible open source CMS. It's highly configurable. Everything you see in Open Intranet can be adjusted to your organization's needs. From the layout to features, every part can be adapted, extended or modified. It's exceptionally secure. Drupal is trusted by governments and large enterprises around the world. Okay, let's dive in. The first thing you see when you log into your intranet is the home page. It's the central hub of your intranet. It's fully configurable. At the top, we placed a banner. When you can put it, the background image, you can put the title text, the, the text here and the link. You can promote events here, maybe some important pages in the internet. Uh, below, in the middle, we have a news section where the latest news that you posted are visible. You can pin one item here at the top so that it remains here even when newer ones show up. On the left, you have highlighted links. This is a configurable area where you can place links to most important parts of your internet maybe to some tools, maybe to some policies, maybe to other tools outside of the internet that your employees often use and look links for, look for links to. Uh, here you have the latest pages. Uh, these are the pages that I have recently visited on this internet. Uh, lower here we have an example block. This is a place where you can place your custom blocks with some custom content of your own, maybe some information, maybe a banner, maybe some additional links. On the right hand side, you have the events section. These are the upcoming events that are added to the intranet. I will talk about events in general later on in this presentation. Uh, you have a link to view all the events and the calendar here. This is the latest event that's upcoming on 19th of June. At the bottom, you have the footer area, uh, which spans across the whole intranet, where you can place additional links and some other information that you might want to give your employees access to. Okay, that's it. That's the home page. Let's dive in into news. The news section is one of the most looked after elements of every internet. It allows the company to communicate with employees easily. When you log in, the first thing you see is a list of news from the latest ones uh, to the older ones. Uh, here, you can access all, all news by clicking a link uh, to view all news, or you can access the news uh, here in the top menu. Uh, the page with all the news looks like this. Uh, people with correct permissions can obviously edit news uh, and change them in a nice uh, WYSIWYG editor uh, and add images. Maybe let's add an article and see how it works. I choose a plus, I choose news article. Maybe let's write something about team building. Uh, to make it quick for our presentation here, I'm going to just generate this with AI. I attached AI here to make it uh, easier for us. Obviously, in your situation, you could add a more uh, elaborate prompt, maybe add some data in here, just like with any other chat GPT uh, or any other LLM. Uh, you could generate uh, text here based on your input. Yeah. Right. I have a full article about team building now. I can review it. I can save changes to the editor. Yeah, it looks good to me. Uh, let me fill in the intro here. I'm just going to take a nice shortcut. Uh, I can add some tags. Tags are obviously configurable. Uh, and I can add a background image to the, to the, to the, to the article. Now I can choose from a library of the images that are already uploaded here, but I also might want to add my own. Uh, I have a nice ready image for my teamwork article here that I want to use. Fantastic. I'm going to insert that. Awesome. Uh, there is an access section here. Uh, access allows us to restrict the article and any content on the intranet to particular groups of people. Now, every employee can be assigned to various uh, groups and when you choose uh, access uh, rest to restrict access, for example, by department, 
uh, or by maybe office uh, uh, only people with, who are added into the particular group will be able to access this particular element. I'm not going to restrict access here, but this is possible. Uh, all content can be uh, isolated to be able to be attainable only by particular people in the organization. Okay. Uh, there are documents here. I'm not going to talk about documents right now, but uh, this you can add a document to the article. I'm going to present documents in general in the next uh, section of this uh, presentation. At the bottom, we have a must read checkbox. Now, you don't have to check it, but if you have a very important uh, piece of news that you want everyone to read and make sure that everybody has uh, good information, you, you can click that. Let's check that and see how it works in practice. I'm going to save this now. Ah, sorry, I actually have to... Just brilliant. The article is published. Obviously, articles can be commented on by your employees if you allow them to uh, have particular permissions. Yeah, and replies to comments are also uh, possible. So you can have a conversation going like this. Fantastic, the conversation is going on. Fantastic. Now, if I click the mark as read button here, which only shows up on articles that you marked, as ones that have to be read. I'm going to mark this as Mark Read. Fantastic. Now I'm going to go to the home page, see my article there. Yeah, it's here just under the pinned article that I pinned so that it stays here on top. Now I would love to see who read my article already. I can choose the dashboard here, which has a separate tab, Must Read Report. If I go here, I can see that I have two articles that I marked as must read and I see that both of them were read by just one person. I can go and see the details of who read and who didn't. Okay, now there we go. Who marked the content as read? That's myself obviously 36 seconds ago. Now none of my dummy users here on this demo intranet have read the article yet. I can follow up with them later on to remind them about the article and that it has to be read. Fantastic. So this is how the news work. Let's move over to the documents. The documents section of the intranet is designed to store all the documents your employees need access to. Every company has a lot of files that people have to access on multiple occasions. Forms, policies, procedures, some other documents that have to be accessed often uh, and are difficult to find. Uh, and that change over time and making sure that everybody uses the latest version is often tricky. Uh, the document section is designed to address all these problems. You can access the document section at the top in the menu. Uh, when you access the document section, you can see uh, all the documents. You can search by title, uh, you can filter by uh, department, and you have a description, the area and the version of the document. Maybe let's add a document uh, to see how it works in practice. I click the plus here. I click add the document. I'm going to add a dummy document uh, with a dummy description for our demonstration purposes. I'm going to give it a version 1.0 because it's the first version and upload the file, which is the demo document here that I have prepared. Mark the document as marketing. I could choose related documents that would show up on this document here, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, and I'm going to save. Okay, this is the document. If I wanted to edit that, I have an edit tab here. If I go to the documents section, I will see the document listed here uh, with a description area and a version. Now, what is brilliant by uh, in the documents mechanism is that you can reference these documents from across the intranet. Maybe let's use the news as an example. Let's go and find the team building article that I just wrote a moment ago. If I edit that and I want to add an existing document here, I can find my dummy document uh, very quickly. And if I save, I will see that this document is referenced here at the bottom. I can I have a link to download the document directly. 
Now, whenever a new version of the document is being uploaded to the system, here I will have access to the latest version of the document. Uh, and the same goes for every other place, wherever you reference a document, always from that place you have access to the latest version of the document. Brilliant. So that's how the documents work. They allow you to store all the information in form of files with an easy access through the system. What I also might want to uh, show you is that if you go to content, if you go to the dummy document here, there are revisions. So uh, I just have one revision here, but if I upload uh, newer versions of the document, I will see the whole history here and I will have access to all the previous versions of this file. So I will be able to see how the file changed, what the previous version was. The next thing we're going to look at is the knowledge base. A knowledge base is a place to store all the knowledge. Uh, if you have any policies, procedures or any other information that you want to share with employees and give them easy access to it, a uh, knowledge base would be the great uh, mechanism for it. Knowledge base is organized into books. Uh, you can see uh, each of them here. They are expandable and they have multiple pages underneath and it, there's an easy navigation to look through everything. Let's maybe see uh, what sales has. Like in sales, we can see that we have standard operating procedures. We have the sales book and underneath we have links. Let's see what's in there. Okay, so we have links and some dummy resources and overviews. Uh, if you go into links, you can see that uh, a long book can be divided into uh, sections. Uh, I can easily navigate through sections here by just clicking uh, what I want to visit. It's going to scroll down to the appropriate section. Uh, what is important is that uh, just here, just as well as everywhere else, I can uh, link a document. And just as well uh, as anywhere else, it will uh, appear uh, at the bottom and uh, it will be downloadable. Uh, knowledge base is also revisioned. You can go to revisions and see all the changes, all the revisions. Now I have a, the old revision without the document that I just added, and I have a newer revision with the document that I just added a moment ago. Uh, every change, uh, is revisioned and you can you can go and you can visit uh, each version and you can even revert to the version so the knowledge base allows you to easily uh, manage knowledge update it uh, and see the changes over time you always have access to the previous versions of all the procedures policies instruction manuals anything you want and you can add additional pages just by clicking add a child page or add a sibling page uh, uh, and it's an easy uh, process of adding uh, the new uh, additional uh, document to your knowledge base. The employee directory and the employee profiles allow people to find themselves in the organization easily and mo learn more about themselves. If you go to the employee directory, you have a list of all the employees in the company. It's easy to search. You can search by name. For example, I can search by for people who are named Sophie and I would find that particular person. It's useful if you have mold, if you have hundreds or thousands of people in your organization. Every person has a profile that I can go and, and look at. Uh, by default, we have a phone field here, an email field, the information about the marketing, the, the office the person works in. Uh, we have a section to for where everybody can write something about themselves so that other employees can uh, learn a little bit more about them. And we can see some activity that the person uh, has taken within the internet in the recent time. These, this is obviously Drupal, so these, th these fields are uh, can be modified, some new fields can be added, uh, fields can be removed, but this uh, gives your employees an easy way find them, find each other, uh, to find people in different departments and learn who's whom and what do they do. An additional element that can be added to the intranet is a form. We have this here in an example, a uh, help and request form. Uh, this is a simple form with just a subject description, 
uh, some categories, attachments, and priority. Uh, this, of course, can be extended. You can add additional elements or remove ones from here. You can add for multiple various types of elements and expand the form into something more complex. You can add conditional fields that show up just based on the input from different fields. Uh, it's all editable uh, and, and configurable. Uh, submissions can be sent to particular emails or they can be accessed here by an authorized personnel to see all the submissions from all the employees. And this is obviously a help and request form, but you can set up all sorts of other forms uh, for your employees to fill in and, and send to, 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 to the company. The last element I want to show you in the internet here are the events. Uh, you can see when you log in a list of events uh, here at the right hand side. Uh, if I click to view all, uh, I can see a calendar with the upcoming events. I can see that this month uh, I just have had an ISO audit on the 19th of, of, of June. If I click through that, uh, I can see the event date, time, location, a description here and location on the map if I want to. This is obviously editable just like everything else in the internet. Uh, it has access permissions uh, just the same. Uh, yeah, I could hide location, for example, not show it. I could make the event online. I can add uh, like a link, for example, for an event uh, link. Uh, you can add as many events as you want just by clicking plus and clicking add an event and you can add an additional new event. All the events are listed here on the home page in, and also they are available in the events section on the calendar here. And they're also accessible from the top menu in the events. It allows you to schedule trainings, conferences and other events that your employees might want to attend. So this sums up our presentation of Open Intranet today. I showed you the home page, news, documents, knowledge base, employee directory, events, forms, eh, and how everything works in Open Intranet. Remember, this is built on Drupal. It's very extendable. You can use existing Drupal modules. You can add additional functionality by writing your own modules. Uh, you can tailor the intranet to suit your organization's needs exactly. If you are thinking about building an intranet or are wondering if open intranet might be a good choice for you, let us know. Thank you very much.